depending on the type of amine used at your location, your amine sweetening unit may have different components, but the process of amine sweetening will be similar. Let's take a look at the process. Incoming sour gas flows through the inlet separator where solids and free liquids are removed from the gas. Most of the liquids are separated out by baffles. Near the gas outlet, a mist extractor, sometimes called a mist eliminator, traps liquids entrained in the gas before it leaves the vessel. Some sweetening units also use an outlet separator to remove entrained liquids before the gas goes on to further processing, such as glycol dehydration, or before the gas is sold. From the separator, sour gas flows to a contactor column where it comes in contact with the lean amine solution. The most common type of contactor column is called a tray column. There are usually 20 trays in the column with bubble caps on each tray for good liquid gas contact. The liquid level is maintained on each tray by a weir on the downcomer. The number of trays in the column helps determine the degree of sweetening. Now let's follow the flow through the contactor column. Sour gas enters the bottom of the contactor, preferably at a temperature between 90 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. While the sour gas rises through the bubble caps on each tray, lean amine enters from the top of the column and flows downward. In order to prevent hydrocarbon condensation, the temperature of the lean amine should be kept 10 degrees warmer than the sour gas temperature. As the gas rises through the amine, it disperses in the form of bubbles and forms a froth. Natural gas then disengages from the froth, flows through the vapor space, and up through the liquid on the next tray. Meanwhile, the entrained amine solution in the froth falls back onto the tray, then flows through the downcomer to the next tray. It's important to note that almost all the absorption of acid gas takes place on the trays rather than in the vapor space between the trays. A mist extractor at the top of the contactor traps and trained liquids from the gas before it enters the gas outlet. The liquid then drops back onto the top tray and rejoins the amine stream. Sweet gas leaves the top of the contactor to be sold or further processed. And at the base of the contactor, rich amine solution containing acid gases is discharged. Another kind of contactor column is called a packed column. In a packed column, the surface area within the vessel is increased by filling it with a packing material. The amine solution coats the packing material for a good contact surface between the amine solution and sour gas. Now before we go on to the next vessel in the process, we need to understand the term flashing. Operating pressures change as the solution flows through the sweetening unit. For instance, the contactor column operates at elevated pressures, usually in the range of 200 to 1,000 PSIG. Now from the contactor column, the rich amine solution flows to a flash tank, which operates at much lower pressure. Now this drop in pressure causes gas in the amine solution to escape, or flash. And it's very similar to what happens when you open a bottle of carbonated soft drink. Liquid inside the bottle is under pressure, while all around the bottle is atmospheric pressure, 